MS324A or MS324AB low-volt AC stimulator operation. Patient leads should always be checked for a proper connection and damage or deterioration prior to treatment. Loose connections or damaged cables can cause low stimulation output, no stimulation output, or sudden irregular increases in output resulting in possible discomfort to the patient. The treatment site and electrodes should be cleaned and properly prepared prior to application of electrical stimulation to the patient. We recommend that you use Amrex conductance gel or Flexrode conductance spray and cloth covers to thoroughly moisten the treatment site and electrode surface prior to every treatment. In order to operate model MS324A or MS324AB, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Connect the patient treatment stop switch to the treatment stop jack. Rotate the intensity control knob or knobs to the zero reset position, enabling the audible click or clicks. The MS324A is equipped with an intensity reset circuit feature. This feature prevents the practitioner from applying one patient's intensity setting to another patient. Set the output mode control to tetanize. MS324A intensity levels should always be set while the device is in the tetanize mode. This will prevent unexpected surges of intensity during the initial patient setup in surge, pulsed, or reciprocal modes. Prepare the pad electrodes and apply them to the patient. They may be held in place using retention straps or weight bags. Hand the treatment stop switch to the patient and explain its function. Rotate the power timer knob and set it to the desired treatment duration. The stimulator on indicator light will illuminate. Slowly increase the stimulator intensity control or controls to the desired output level or levels. If desired, select an alternate output mode of pulsation, surge or reciprocal, and adjust the pulse surge rate control setting. The output rate indicator light or lights will reflect the output rate selected. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound when the treatment duration is completed. To continue or extend the treatment duration, reset the power timer knob within 10 seconds of shutoff. To prematurely end the treatment, rotate the power timer knob counterclockwise to the off position. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound. Thoroughly clean the pads with warm water and dispose of the used cloth covers after every treatment. The MS324AB's rechargeable batteries require 12 hours to fully recharge. Leave the unit plugged in at all times when it is not in use. The fully charged batteries will provide 4 to 5 hours of continuous operation. The MS324AB power supply indicator light will illuminate red when the power cord is connected to the MS324AB's AC receptacle and plugged into an AC wall receptacle and the power is off. This indicates the battery charge circuit is enabled. The power supply indicator light will illuminate green when the power timer is on and the unit is operating on battery power with the AC power cord disconnected. The power supply indicator light will illuminate flashing green when the power timer is on and the battery charge becomes low. In this low battery condition, the reset mode is activated and the unit is inoperable. The unit must be recharged or be operated on AC power. The MS324AB does not charge when operating on AC power. The MS324AB AC line cord must be disconnected from the AC receptacle during battery-powered operation.